Again, I want to thank you for your time today. The College Admissions Board was quite impressed with your submission. We'd just like to ask you one more question. Where do you see yourself in four years' time? Four years ago, I couldn't have imagined things that I've done in the past four years, and I kind of wish that there was someone there to guide me. Hey freshmen, so tomorrow marks the first day of the term, and it's an awesome opportunity for you to take a leadership role in your own life and all the incredible things you can experience through high school. I just want to congratulate you, and more importantly, thank you for taking that leap of faith. I know that taking on a leadership position is something that is a little bit scary, and it takes a lot of courage to do so, and even though you don't know exactly where you're headed, because you're doing it for the right reasons and you're doing it because you care about the people that you're serving, I can assure you that everything is going to be just fine. So a year ago, I was a lot like you in the sense that I thought being a leader meant that you had to be someone eloquent and presentable and just oozing self-confidence. And it was funny because when I looked at myself and started checking off those boxes, I saw that none of those criteria applied to me. But what kept me going was that I had this ever-growing passion to serve others and to benefit those in my community. So over the past three years, there have been several different positions I've held with several different organizations. Be it the Director of Social Affairs for DECA, or the Vice President for AYD, or the Founding President for Key Club Mississauga. You know, each of these titles sound a little bit more important than the last, and as wonderful as they look on a resume or on an application, it was more than just a name than a piece of, on a piece of paper to me. To me, every year when I assumed the new responsibility to take on a term and take on these roles, it, I saw it as an opportunity for me to seize, an opportunity that would allow me to help benefit youth who shared the same goals and ideals as I did. It was for that reason that throughout this year, I found that the most important characteristics that a leader can have are passion and humility because everything else springs forth from those two. I found that as long as you are passionate about something, you will put the others before you, that you will do everything that you can to serve those before you, and that you will remain someone who is committed and dedicated, and who will wholeheartedly give themselves to serve others as long as you know in your heart that it's for the right reasons and the right reasons to you. And that is why I found even on those nights when I couldn't get any sleep, I'd wake up in the mornings and I'd see that there were eye bags into my eyes or zits all over from stress. It was in those moments, strangely enough, that I found that I felt the most beautiful because it was a product of the amount of hard work and love and determination that I put into the people that I was serving. And going back to that, even when things were difficult or stressful or they didn't work out the way that I hoped they would, going back to the reason why I did what I did and the people I was serving, it kept me going and that's what really pulled me through the hard times throughout the year. And I hope that you continue to find those people in the organizations that you serve that will inspire you to do what you love to do. Another really important attribute of a leader that is typically unrecognized is humility. And I find that a way to be the most impactful leader is to make sure that you are serving the people around you and to let them know that each and every one of them is someone valuable, someone important, someone significant. Because it should be your main objective to inspire positive change in them. Because once your term is up, and once you're gone, and once you're out, people aren't going to remember your name, or they're not going to consider you as the best present, the most important person, but the one thing that I've always wanted to keep constant was that even long after I'm gone, and people don't remember who I was or what I did, it would be that I hope to leave a legacy and an impact on them that would continue to serve true. You know, I like to think of leadership as an inverse triangle in which the person who is in charge or the leader is the person who is at the bottom of the pyramid because the higher your title is, the more important you may seem. It's not a matter of being at the top and taking the credit. It's 
about being able to expand the ladder of the triangle and reaching out to a greater network of people that you can serve and a community that you can benefit. And more importantly, it is about not just accomplishing great things on your own as one particular individual, but being able to inspire change and to teach those around you who look up to you that being a leader is attainable and it's helping them and guiding them to also achieve incredible things, to inspire them, continue your legacy, and to find that passion, to find that drive, to find that determination that will bring them to do incredible things. So in the coming year, I hope to continue to serve my community through Key Club, through DACA, through AYD, through everything that I'm a part of, and more importantly, to take the lessons that I've learned and share them with people like you so that you too can accomplish amazing things. And I can't wait to hear about the things that you'll accomplish in the next four years, and this is just the beginning for you. So I wish you all the best with high school, and good luck.